Oh. We got a win! <laughs> yeah! What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another standard gameplay video. It's great to be here guys. I hope you are having a phenomenal day. I've been feeling really good because truthfully, uh, it's Friday of last week right now when this is going up. I'm trying to get ahead of recording knowing there's a lot of busy time coming up. Uh, and so I'm feeling really good. I'm also creating more of my own deck list, uh, which is what we have in front of us today. This is a Rakdos Dragons list, uh, which I'm really stoked to try out because I do think there's a lot of power cards in this, uh, this particular list. And I also think it's a very efficient one. Uh, and so we're going to talk about that a little bit. There's a sub theme of treasure to this. Uh, and we'll talk about some of the goods and the bads and things like that as we go through. But I do want to remind you, uh, every Saturday, guys, we have a collection update series. I'm inviting everybody to join me in filling out a binder of their choice. It could be any kind of binder. It doesn't matter. Uh, but the goal is over the course of, we'll say a year, but however long it might take, uh, we're just, we're just going to hang out. We're just going to try some new stuff. We're going to hopefully pick up some new cards and talk about those. And I invite you to share your new pickups in the comment section of those videos, because I think uh, collecting is a huge aspect of magic, but not a lot of people seem to post a lot of videos on it. And I understand why, but it's a big part for me. And so uh, I think bigger than gameplay. And so for me, that's really uh, where my heart is at. And I'm enjoying that series a lot. But anyway, guys, uh, today's deck is Rakdos Dragons, like I said, uh, and this does, like I said, have the treasure sub theme. So we've got things like Shambling Gas, which can spit out a treasure. We've got Kallen, uh, also going to hopefully bolster up our board, but does spit out a treasure. Uh, we've got Deadly Dispute, which gives us treasure. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, the little tutu, when it attacks, gives us treasure. Um, and the idea is to use these uh, ramp spells, essentially, uh, to get us to four and five mana. So at four mana, we can play at Sushi, which will, if it dies, give us more treasure or give us some cards from the top of our deck. Or if we can get to five mana, we've got Junji as well as Goldspan Dragon. Now, Goldspan Dragon is obviously the, like, the best. I, I, I don't know that anybody could dispute the fact that Goldspan Dragon might be the best five drop dragon we've seen in a long time. But uh, Junji is an interesting one. So... Crucially in this deck, its ability is a little bit neutered because we don't have a lot of great targets to pull back with its ability. Now that being said, we do still have targets. We've got Kallen, we've got the Shambling Gas, the Eye Witch, whatever. Uh, but most importantly, we can still discard cards from the opponent's hand. Uh, and because we're ramping, hopefully we're hitting it on a turn where we can get two cards out of hand. If not, we'll pull back one of our, you know, little early drop creatures, whatever. Um, now, the uh, for some removal, we do have Play With Fire and Dragon's Fire. We also have Spike Field Hazard. This hits anything, which is great. I've found this really useful against, like, Soren as an example. Uh, they minus and, you know, we can ping it or do whatever we need to do. Um, or, like, a Loth, which, again, Mono Black is very popular. It's great to be able to, you know, after they create their tokens, they we just Spike Field Hazard it, and it's gone. It's exiled, so Blood on the Snow doesn't get it back or anything. Uh, so I'm really enjoying Spike Field Hazard. It also smooths out our mana as well, which is really good. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty straightforward list. This is a kind of simple one, um, but I think it's a good one. And so I'm really excited to try this one out. I put this together pretty quickly, but in practice, it's going pretty well. Uh, because of the eye switch, we do have a lot of, uh, you know, lessons in the sideboard here. Only one environmental sciences and two mascot exhibitions. Uh, again, we're ramping. Uh, and so getting to seven mana, I don't think is going to be very difficult. I'd like to capitalize on that mana if I can. Start from scratch has also uh, kind of overperformed, surprisingly. Not even for the artifact, just the dealing one damage is really helpful. Um, and so, oops, sorry. Uh, I'm really excited to try that out. But all in all, guys, that's the deck. It's, again, a pretty straightforward one, but I think a good one. We're going to give it a shot, guys. We're going to have some fun today, hopefully get some wins, and uh, talk about this deck along the way. So let's jump right in. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And yeah, I mean, this is a super, super easy keep. Uh, turn one, we've got the Shambling Gas. That'll help us potentially ramp or deal with what the opponent's doing. We've got three lands, which are going to help us get to at Sushi, hopefully early. 
again with that treasure token so no reason not to keep this very curious to see what we're against um the play with fire and the dragon's fire could both be very helpful so we'll see um but all in all guys again i love just a nice straightforward simple list every once in a while uh and i think this definitely qualifies so we'll see um i love these the dragon spirits the legendary dragon spirits just allow you to rebuild so quickly um that against a lot of the control decks which i believe we're gonna find ourselves against this time it doesn't actually feel all that bad um let's do first things first i suppose we should leave up deadly dispute but i'm just gonna attack in i don't think they're gonna do too much about that uh and i will play this out for red here i'll throw out uh, another shambling guest we'll see what happens um again i would normally leave up the deadly dispute but we'll see i'm not positive i'm assuming this is going to be a bit of a uh a sweeper heavy matchup uh with doom scars farewells that kind of stuff farewell in particular is very very good against us so we gotta hope they uh don't do too much of that good news here is we can go ahead and just immediately play with fire this <laughs> um so yeah they're gonna get a card out of hand here but we still get to kill it, and uh, I'm happy about that. Interesting choice there. I mean, I like it. I'm into it. Uh, two at Sushi's isn't exactly ideal. Um, okay. We just wait. Uh, hopefully, we draw an extra land. And yeah, we could have sequenced things better, I think. So if we had deadly disputed in response and then used the Shambling Gas, I think we could have done a lot better there. But that's okay. Jeskai, huh? Interesting. Well, unfortunately, we are just hanging in with these uh, these little shambling gas. Dealing a good bit of damage, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah, they're going to start offsetting some of that with the Celestis, which is not ideal. Uh, and hopefully we can do something here. Behold, the multiverse goes to the graveyard. Okay. That's cool. Mm. Yep. Um... So, good news, bad news here. We can just Dragon's Fire this. We reveal a Dragon card. We'll reveal the one we've already revealed, so that way it's obvious, but... Um, like, we're not giving them extra stuff. Okay, they negate it. That's fine. Uh, it's not great, but it's cool. Another Shambling Ghast. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna attack in. I expect they don't block. Yeah. Um, but we had to give them the opportunity. They know we are just looking for treasure tokens, I think, here. And we're kind of just getting unlucky with our draws. If we had drawn any land, I think there would have been a great turn to drop the Atsushi and really do some damage. Yep. Uh, they're really doing some work with this Celestis as well. Oh my goodness, we have drawn every Shambling Gas in our deck. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so silly. I have to imagine we lose here. Uh, we've been so behind on mana for so many turns at this point that, I mean, realistically, I don't think there's much we can do. Um, it's really funny that we've drawn all of these. Okay, they're gonna Magma Opus. Tap two of these, and I'm just gonna attack in with one. Um, and we'll play a Shambling Gas. Yeah, I think... I think it's pretty safe to say we might be dead. <laughs> uh, but again, you know what? We got mana screwed on this one. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be too upset about that. Um, the opponent is playing extraordinarily well, not worrying about the shambling gas and just kind of letting us hit them. Um, because they can offset that damage, it really doesn't matter. And in the race game, they definitely win. Okay. We finally got a land. Um, still gonna attack in with everything. So how much do we think they have a counter spell? <laughs> they definitely do, right? Wow, they didn't. I'm sure they can burn it, though. They have to be able to burn it. Um, and we just die next turn. Yeah, good game. That's fair enough. We can't do too much about that. Well done, opponent. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into a game two. All right, guys. Here we are for game number two. Unfortunately, we cannot keep this. If any one of these was a black source, I would be super into this hand. Um, but mana seems to be a problem this time. That's interesting. Okay. 
Uh, this is definitely a keep. I think we'll throw one of the dragon fires back. I think that's probably just the safest play. Um, we can do this, throw that shambling gas in there. The abandoned mire, by the way, is very good in this deck because we've got so many like high value dragons that have reoccurring value. It's just an easy way to um, guarantee that we can bring stuff back as long as they're not exiling too many things. Um, we're just gonna get for the attack here. There's no reason really not to. Crucially, we could dragon fire our own thing, but I don't think that's worth it. Okay. Uh, so they're going to get a 1-1. One, one. It looks like this is going to be the token stack, so I do expect things like Edgar and uh, some other powerful things, which I'm not super stoked about. Um, I'm going to attack in here. I fully expect they don't block. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to drop the Fable. Um, we've got some removal in hand, so this gives us an opportunity next turn to potentially attack in, get a treasure token, drop at Sushi plus Shambling Ghast, and then be in a decent spot to, to set up for the next couple turns. We'll see. Um, the opponent could have quite a bit here, so I'm a little worried about that, but, you know, it is what it is. We did tap out, so we can't kill the 1-1 if they have, you know, some way of powering it up or whatever. By the way, guys, funny story about this little coffee mug. Wow, aggressive. That coffee mug uh, is the one I have used since I was like a little child uh, for my hot chocolate back in the day. <laughs> uh, that was my parents got myself, my brother, and my sister one of those mugs when we were super, super small. And uh, that was that was just what I had, and I love it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we do know they've got the right of Oblivion here. So what's the move? I think it's this. I'm gonna wait. Let's see what they do. If they want a right of Oblivion on a Shambling Gas, like, I'm super into that. Um, okay. Are you attacking? No, you are not. So I think we just resolve all. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Um, not gonna attack i think i dropped the at sushi now they're obviously just gonna get rid of this but i think we're setting ourselves up for the next turn and if they attack in we can get junji down the following turn there's the uh edgar which we fully expected and that's more of a target for the dragon's fire than the uh the two twos here okay another at sushi wow interesting okay um I think I do attack him. Um, I think I hold up Deadly Dispute and Dragon's Fire. So in response to them, right of a their right of oblivion, uh, we can Deadly Dispute the Atsushi, create treasure tokens, or give us some extra cards. Um, and that's basically just wasting their mana. Yeah. So we do this. We do this. Um, I don't know what the right call is here, actually. Um, we get a treasure token anyway. I'm going to exile the top two. If we get a land there, that'd be great. We did not, but that's fine. Okay. Um, yep. So I assume they're going to attack in with Edgar, in which we dragon's fire in response. So we did get a land off the top, by the way, too. Reveal a dragon. Uh, we reveal Junji, so we get to kill Edgar, so mitigate all the damage they were going to do this turn. Um, the trick is, do we then play with fire on anything? I think we need to. They're going to start getting a lot of power on the field with double wedding announcements, so I think it's pretty important that we mitigate as much of that as we can. Okay, so we get to do this 
can play another at sushi or we can play a junji it's a tricky place to be um alternatively we can play shambling ghast and at sushi maybe that's a little better just so we don't waste it yeah i'm gonna do that this may not be ideal i really don't know um but at the very least it's going to save off any major attacks from them they do get lifelink on this which is annoying but uh yeah does this just come back to the battlefield if there are three or more maybe those counters to transform it yeah it transforms okay let's hope let's hope guys i mean the good news is we're attacking in the air and they're not really uh and so at the very least we do have that advantage going for us they're gonna meat hook for one interesting okay so they do gain some life um I'm gonna kill the life linker and create a treasure token. Um, just to get rid of the life linker, I think is important. We'll kill one of the two twos as well. I mean, that seems easy enough. Yeah, we're losing life in that process, but I don't think I care that much. We can den of the bug bear, uh, which doesn't seem like a terrible way to go. Weirdly, um, alternatively, we can just play Junji just probably just better so we attack in we play junji i think this is just a much more optimal so what we're doing now basically is threatening lethal right not technically lethal i suppose okay don't love that uh at all so we do get a little shambling gas back uh they don't have any cards in hand which is a little frustrating but i mean you can't do anything about that they're gonna attack for six let's say no blocks we're gonna take it gold span dragon huh well that's really good yeah we definitely want gold span dragon um all right, so this attacks here, this attacks here. Cool. And then we drop the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. So now we should have enough blockers. This does transform, but we should have enough blockers to... Oh, no, we don't. No, we do. We do, we do. No, we don't. Crap. I thought this would have... Man, I really need to play against Edgar a lot more. Wow, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I definitely thought this would have summoning sickness. That was definitely a mistake on my end. That's unfortunate. 100% a mistake, guys. That was just me uh, not understanding 100%. So that's okay. It happens. Let's jump into, I think, a game three. Yeah, a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game three. Let's hope we can actually get a win with this list. Uh, and yeah, we'll definitely keep. I think I've had bad luck when recording, it seems. Like, it's weird because in practice, I seem to be do okay. And then uh, this happens, <laughs> which is fine. It is what it is. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that was interesting. So I am going to attack in here. Uh, we've got the deadly dispute, so I don't particularly care. Yep. We wanted them to tap out so we could do this um, and kill it in response. And then we get a treasure token and next turn we have a land. We also have a play with fire now, which is pretty good. So what this allows us to do is ramp into our turn three turn five or turn four turn five we don't really have a great turn four here um but we do have some options so we'll we'll see what we can do okay uh unfortunately we can't get the hive of the eye tyrant down untapped but we can go ahead and drop the fable um we get our little two two and we do get to leave up a play with fire so i'm curious to see what they actually play here dragon turtle interesting yeah that's a fascinating little normally you don't 
I haven't seen Dragon Turtle played in a long time, but this is definitely going to be a frustrating deck to play against. I think there's no doubt about that. Um, <laughs> I think it's the two mountains. Maybe just one. Yeah, I'll just throw one back. Dragonfire. Okay. Dragonfire is pretty good. Um, so what's the move? We can go for the gold span dragon. I think we try it. If they've got a counter, they've got a counter, but it's going to be difficult for them to deal with that and Junji potentially. Oh, okay. And it sticks. They just have another dragon turtle. This is going to be the most annoying deck in history. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> cool. Atsushi's not bad. Um, this is going to be so annoying. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, stop with the dragon turtles. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, well, good news, bad news here. They did tap out for the dragon turtles. So I assume they're just gonna tap down that. Yeah, that's cool. So what we get to do is then play the Junji. Um, so if they kill this, they bounce this, that's annoying, but I guess if they kill it, we can discard some stuff. It's also just a decent blocker. Um, we do lose the ability to dragon's fire. A dragon turtle by playing the Junji. That's one thing to think about here. Um, but oh, they're a steel stuff deck. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're just gonna try and finish this one off pretty quickly then. <clears throat> really wish. Oh, we do. Okay, I was gonna say we have read up with the treasure token, so that's helpful. I know we're fueling their fire potentially by saying that they've got the the steel stuff thing, but it has to be three mana value or less with that though. That's pretty helpful. Okay. So we could throw away the Atsushi here if they decide to attack. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Well, and it wouldn't even throw it away, would it? It's just a board stall situation. I mean, I'm just gonna attack. I think we do attack with everything. This is a weird deck that the opponent seems to have here. Um, yeah, I know they can block the 2-2. That's not really the point. I don't really care if they do. We get the treasure token off of it. Oh. We got a win! <laughs> yeah! That was an interesting deck. I'm curious on that one. I'd, I'd like to play something like that. Anyway, guys, let's talk about this deck. All right, so Rakdos Dragons, uh, showing up with a one and two record, not exactly ideal. Um, again, in practice, it seemed to go a little smoother than that, uh, but you know, it is what it is. I do really like the list. I will say that. I think it's pretty resilient against some stuff. We were against some odd decks, very odd decks. Um, and I do, I will say, I do think this would struggle against a number of things in the meta, um, but I think it's well set up to at least have some game plan against most things. Um, and an example for that would be something like the Naya Runes deck. We've got the burn to deal with the stuff before it gets too big. Uh, additionally, for things like sweeper heavy decks, we've got rebuild tools between Atsushi and between Junji. We can limit the opponent's resources while building up our own between the two of those. Uh, and with Goldspan Dragon, you have a lot of mana, so you can play a lot of the extra stuff off of the Atsushi play. So I feel like there, there are a lot of benefits to this deck that unfortunately we didn't really get to showcase too often here. Um, however, I do still think, you know, this is a worth try kind of effort is what I would suggest. Um, I would like to get other people's opinions on this deck, though, because, again, this is one I just kind of created off of the cuff. Uh, so please do share your thoughts. Share your new deck list if you've got a, a teched out version of the list. Let me know. Um, 
but overall, I like it. I thought it was really fun. Uh, I think we could have played better for sure. And I think the deck could have performed better, but we just had some bad luck there too. So uh, it is what it is. It's all good. That was a really fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching and being a part of this channel. I really do appreciate it. It's great to have such an awesome community behind the It Resolves channel. So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you again very soon.